Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is about Tripoli at VIT University. I have interviewed my junior Pradeshna Sharma. She is from Tripoli, VIT Chennai, batch of 2017 till 2021. She is currently working in TCS Digital. So we have covered all the points uh, relating to the curriculum, placements, higher studies, and everything. Do watch the video till the end. Also, do subscribe to the channel because this month and onwards you would be receiving. Company specific placement videos. With that, let's begin. Hi, Pradeshna. How are you? Thank you for joining me today. Hi, Ankit. I am really glad. How are you? I am also good. So let me introduce you to the audience. So we have with us Pradeshna yeah. Sharma. She belongs to the batch of 2017 to 2021 BIT Chennai, and she is a triple E graduate, and she currently works for TCS Digital. So is that correct, Pradeshna? Anything else you would like to add? Yes. Uh, no, no. Your uh, description was correct. Okay, all right. So let's begin with the questions. So uh, the first question is very general. Uh, how was your experience at VIT Chennai? Your overall experience of four years. Okay. Uh, so my overall experience of VIT Chennai, like I would describe in a word, in a word that is marvelous. Like from the first year to the fourth year, it completely changes your personality. Okay, so when I came to college for the first time around the time of July, it was two thousand seventeen, and I looked through my hostel window and I saw there were so many buildings with lot of infrastructure, and I know I know I just snapped I guess uh, with the caption home for the next four years, and it was just exhilarating, uh, exciting because I was always a student and a. I like I was always someone who was always near to my home, and to go in such a different place and to study in such a prestigious college was a really of a uh, like lifetime achievement. And I was really and like I'm really glad that I took admission in VIT Chennai. So coming to the next question, how was your experience of Tripoli at VIT Chennai? Okay, so most of the students might have uh, wanted to go for CSE, but honestly, if I say in my case. Around the twelfth standard, we had C plus plus, and mm-hmm. I didn't have that knack for coding, so I took Tripoli because uh, I knew a little bit about transistors, and I was like, okay, let's go for Tripoli. So, mm-hmm. and um, I knew the subjects like uh, there are also subjects called semiconductors, which resembled the twelfth standard course. So I was like, let's mm-hmm. try for it. Then I took Tripoli, and when I took Tripoli. i got to know many things starting from motor starting from our daily usage of electricity i didn't even know like we had 230 volts uh, i think volts that comes to our home i didn't know that okay around okay. that time of standard uh-huh. so uh, when i took my first course i knew that it was going to be difficult yet it was not so uh, how would i say hard when i studied for the next 4 years it was just moderate So yeah, I'm uh, coming to this uh, curriculum. Then I will uh, like explain you the whole okay. detail. Okay, okay. Then let's let's jump on to that. So how was the curriculum overall? Ah, uh, curriculum. See, we are going to have a lot of different subjects. Okay, mm-hmm. and it's not compulsory that you have to take every subject. There will be a lot of courses, and uh, those courses will touch the line of uh, exams. Like if you want to give GATE, then uh, you will. see that some of the topics that covers in our graduation will cover in uh, the gate exam as well mm-hmm. and uh, we also have like uh, electronic subject like digital electronics and analog electronics so if you have interest in that then go for it mm-hmm. so i think the curriculum in short was really nice and uh, com- like uh, un- easily understandable by the students mm-hmm. okay okay all right and how are the faculties of tripoli okay, uh let me just tell you one advantage of vit that you can uh, choose any faculty you want you can choose any courses you want like most of the colleges you have seen they have they will give you the timetable and the courses that you have to do but here you will be given the list and in that list you have to choose those courses if you don't like for example there we got a course for robotics i was not a big fan of robotics so i didn't take it Okay. but i uh, like according also to the teachers like if you have uh, like a bad teacher not a bad teacher actually like a faculty 
who you think might not uh, go with your theory mm-hmm. or go with your theory, then you can choose your own teachers as well. Right. So I like that faculty, uh, like that facility of VIT. Okay, okay. And what was the background of the faculties? Like, were they all PhDs from good colleges? Uh, what was it? Like? Yes. Like the co- like uh, when I speak about the faculties, see most of the faculties will teach you according to their uh, uh, qualifications. Mm-hmm. See, and uh, most of the teachers were PhDs, and okay. it's not that uh, it's not that you have to like uh, see only the teacher. Sometimes the teacher might not be able to explain you in the classroom. Mm-hmm. Okay, so right. because there will be a lot of students, and you might not get the same attention. but mm-hmm. every faculty will help you will suggest you books will guide you in every way you want you ha- you mm-hmm. have any problem just go to the cabin like you when you phys- when you are physically present in the campus you can visit faculties any time they will mm-hmm. tell you the timings to come and they will help you if you are really struggling in any subject they will give you papers that could help you for the exams like uh, a blueprint like um uh, how could i say like questions that could help you to understand the logic more like mm-hmm. uh, and okay. to videos or tutorials and courses so yeah that are the faculties so in short i would summarize that the teachers were pretty accessible i mean by the students yes yes and okay. it's not there's no gap between the teachers you need any mm-hmm. help they will be always present okay okay the next question is uh, how were the labs uh, at vit for triple e okay uh, so the labs um, you can say it was adequate like mm-hmm. uh, for example see you don't you don't have to do all the projects they suggest if you want to do your a project of your own and you mm-hmm. want the accessibility for the lab they will grant you it's okay. they want you to learn everything you don't have to just stick to your academics you want mm-hmm. to create a project want to do something that could be uh, like a future benefit then all the teachers are going to give you accessibility they are going to be present at all the times if you need any guidance all the teachers relating to uh, electrical or electronics like in subjects like control systems you are going to have power electronics and then you are going to have subjects like uh, digital signal processing so these are all different types of subjects and different types of subjects means different uh, projects so if you mm-hmm. have a na- for a singular project or a singular subject like that you can create a good like projects and if you are interested in joining teams like there are also mm-hmm. technical teams for okay. for example my friends were uh, in a, a atv like a, a car making team uh, okay. then there is a lot of practical knowledge used mm-hmm. you can also okay. go for that so that you can learn more about it and not just okay. go for the books so right, yeah right so coming to the next question uh, so many people have this doubt because they were actually interested in cse but they are getting triple e so i think you already covered it in a short bit but uh, is it really hard will they be able to manage triple e if they also want to cover coding and stuff like that okay see i am not going to say triple e is not hard if you study well it's going to be moderate i mm-hmm. thought triple e was hard when i first took admission in that branch all of my family members all of the relatives were like it's really going to be hard and everything and i agree because i remember in my first sem i uh, had a subject called electrical circuits mm-hmm. and i barely passed i was so shocked because it's yeah. just like a new thing i didn't know what to do i didn't listen so one thing whatever your teachers tell you please listen in classes yes mm-hmm. i was a student who didn't listen so i got my uh, punishment but it's okay. not a bad thing uh, not everything has to go your way right. so uh, triple e is all over like overall not hard but moderate if you mm-hmm. study well if you know the basics like mm-hmm. if you study about electronics the basics will be semiconductors so if you know the basics you will uh, like pass with flying colors like okay. no not even a doubt you won't even get a grade less than a okay. so okay. that's what's difference is okay so a uh, one more question just a follow up question uh, will these students be able to manage coding and stuff like that uh, with mm-hmm. their regular triple e courses if they want to go for it companies later on so how manageable it is uh, there is a thing called time management okay mm-hmm. if you study for like there is see in the industry you always have to upskill yourself you can't right. stay at 
same location even mm-hmm. if you go in a company you have to do courses so you have mm-hmm. to manage your meetings time and everything see when yeah. i work i work around 8 hours then i have to do my courses from the companies so mm-hmm. it's just like your uh, motivation to do it because see most of the time it's always going to be no i'm not going to do it it's late but mm-hmm. it's only going to benefit you in the later uh, future like right. if you do coding now from uh, itself like i'm not saying you have to do it for the first year even if you start from third year you will get good placements like mm-hmm. i have seen one of my friends uh, place in schlumberger i think schlumberger i think that was the company i don't remember the name okay. correctly but she was placed around in 10 to 12 lakhs with she didn't even know coding she was placed in triple e like she took triple e and she was placed there and she okay. took coding around the time of third year she progressed and coding is not always about the syntaxes if you have mm-hmm. logic you are going to do it that's the uh, way okay can even you are a great example you have also backed a good offer in tcs digital <laughs> thank okay. you so let's move ah. on to the next question so how were the internship opportunities at your college so uh, the internship opportunities like um, see there are two different ways in the summer semester uh, around the time of second uh, year to third year we mm-hmm. received a lot of offers like internship offers mm-hmm. from microsoft and uh, rbs and a lot of companies like jp morgan also okay. so it's not necessary that you will be receiving it in the fourth year so this was for the summer present, semester that is the internship for yeah. two weeks uh, for uh, eight weeks one right yeah mm-hmm. which can con- which can be converted into ppo that is pre placement okay. offer later okay. so it can so also sort of- be uh, yeah so if you like mm-hmm. uh, take up an offer like an internship offer around the third year or, or you bag an offer then yes there is a possibility that it will change to ppo so you don't have to worry about the placements like my friends anisha uh, she was uh, getting the offer of rbs and she got the ppo in the fourth year okay and uh, coming to the fourth year internship which is the last end, uh, end term internship that is actually uh, the internship that we get from the vit placement team so mm-hmm. it's just like internship plus the offer Okay. So most of the companies will provide you internship in that like curriculum. I forgot to tell you that we had a project called Capstone Project. I don't know if it will be applicable for your year or not, but we had it, and it was around of twenty credits. So what mm-hmm. happens that if you don't uh, get the internship or if you get the only the full time offer, then you have to do the project. But mm-hmm. it's but if it's a different case, like you get the internship and the uh, job, then you don't have to do the project. Absolutely. So that's okay. kind of like the fourth year uh, internship okay. part. Okay. So uh, just to add on to your point, just so that our audience has it clear, PPO means pre-placement yeah. offer. So when you do an internship, yeah. the company can give you a PPO and then you can actually have a full-time offer with that company. Yes. All right. So with that, let's move on to the next question. So uh, this is the question that students are most concerned about. You must have guessed it. How are the placements in core as well as IT? Okay. uh, Just let me tell you that the placement VIT has is remarkable. And it is like the, uh, like most of the colleges have placements during first month or second month. But when I uh, went for VIT, they said that you will receive job offers like every week. And that was true. We had received mails for every week for any, any companies from startups to companies like Microsoft. So mm-hmm. when uh, we saw the placements uh, in Chennai and Bellor, and you don't have to worry about the place. Like if we go for Bellor, will we get in, uh, will we not get placements or if we go for Chennai or anything? No, that's not the uh, case. Right. In any campus you study, you will get opportunity. Like everyone gets the opportunity. So uh, when we come to the placement part, uh, like the IT companies are more. I am okay. going to be honest in that. Mm-hmm. And it's not like the companies don't come. They do uh, definitely come like Bajaj and, uh, and there was also automotive uh, companies. So mm-hmm. if you do well in that, you will obviously be able to uh, crack the exams because mm-hmm. most of the students who go for Tripoli, they are interested in core. Mm-hmm. And uh, most of them expect to be placed in uh, core companies. Mm-hmm. So yes, it's 
like companies don't come they do mm-hmm. and not just bajaj like volvo has taken in on 50 to 55 students around oh, this it. time of year but yeah and mm-hmm. most of like see when i tell about tripoli i lost uh, kind of my interest in the third year it's okay. it's not going to be an issue for you like if you have an interest then it is well it good but even if you lose you don't have to like uh, you don't have to be upset over, over it you are mm-hmm. going to any opportunity even if you are more inclined towards the management sector then uh, then consulting companies are also going to come right. so you don't have to panic over that uh, you only have to concentrate there just upskill yourself in every way you can so moving on to the next question how about the ms and mtech opportunities at pit so ms and mtech opportunities see if you want to go for ms and like most of my friends have gone for ms and if you are worried that you are not going to get time to study then that's not an issue because vit ties up with most of the coaching centers like time uh, magush so that you can uh, like and the prices that you have to pay are according to the vit it's like it's special offer for them for the vit students mm-hmm. so it's not mm-hmm. that you have to pay everything they will even tell you there is a brochure and everything so uh, when you want to study for ms you, you can take part in Uh, like coaching centers and they will give you book materials to learn and it's just see when you study for ms it also gives you uh, the knowledge to capture uh, like uh, logical skills okay so when you prepare for aptitude that is not always going to help you in the ms it is also going to help you in the placements the right. placement also is around for aptitude and essay writing or anything related to reasoning so whatever you study it's not just going to benefit you in ms it's always going to help you in placements too so when you study prep properly from the third year it is always going to be like ms or placements so it's not that whatever you study for that won't come handy in this hmm. it's just like it balances out so let's move on to the last question so yeah. what are the suggestions that you would like to give to the newcomers who are going to join vit this year or even to the first years okay. maybe who are watching this video first don't beat yourself up if you think you are falling behind then you don't have to keep it to yourself i have mm-hmm. seen my friends help me in every way i was someone who used to study before the exam not like not before weeks so when i thought i couldn't do it i, I saw my friends and they helped me so mm-hmm. if you think you're falling behind talk to someone talk to your friends then uh, don't just bury your brains in the books academics are mm-hmm. not going to help so much see when you uh, want to go for 9 pointer 10 pointer that is a good thing i won't disagree but mm-hmm. i was also an 8 pointer i don't i didn't have 9 points mm-hmm. so and being an 8 pointer i got the opportunity to work in company like tcs digital so mm-hmm. it's not always going to be your books that's going to help you practicality is what it is needed in any right. industry if you just go with your theory no one is no one will look at you if you go for a practical knowledge see and not just practical knowledge um vit is going to conduct a lot of hackathons and in the fests also there are going to be competitions join them join those competitions do the hackathons and you will get to know everything and uh, when people study from books you won't get the uh what can i say you can't uh, get the, like even if it like, yeah practical exposure so just go for it don't just study it's just going to be a stone for you to enter the company after that your practical knowledge is important right so yeah that's what i want to say and uh, enjoy your time enjoy the fe- uh, fest you don't have to like obviously not now because you are not uh, called to college but enjoy your time and you don't have to always be uh you know perfect it's not going to be perfect you're going to have ups and downs and uh it's it's going to be a memorable experience mm-hmm. so don't waste four years like trying to be all like trying to be perfectionists enjoy right. your time go with the flow and it will just be perfect and the four years will be a lot memorable and nostalgic when you look uh, after all right i think we have covered all the points Thank you so much for joining yeah. me here today. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Do comment below if you have any doubts left and also join me on Telegram. I have added many of my friends there. They are from different batches, different 
branches and they work in different companies. We will also help you with your doubts on Telegram. Thank you.